Okay, let's consider the Chimata for MMA. We'll start out by just breaking down a classical version. So a classical version, I'm gonna have a Giga. I'm gonna have it on the sleeve, I'm gonna have it on the collar, and what I'm gonna do is lift through PI. As he lifts up, I'm gonna step in, and I'm gonna kind of make an L and step deep. And from here what I'm doing is looking to lift on the hip. Okay? So I'm gonna lift him up, come, and get a good Uchimana hip throw. Alright? So let's consider a different version of that. And from here, I'm gonna modify it slightly from OB, from around, from around, and we're gonna do a leg sweep variation of Uchimana. So as my opponent comes in on me, I'm gonna hold him to me. Step around. Step around like that. And this is a nice counter to a single leg. Right there. Again, I've gone for my wizard as he comes in. Whether it's the head, the arm, I'm going to get him up. Okay, get him up and go with his momentum. And then I'm going to turn around. And this again, work the way. So we'll break that down slowly. He comes in. You can see, I'm immediately going for the wizard. Okay? From there, I lift him up here. Lift him up here. Lift him with the head. If I want to get him up, and then as he goes up, I'm going to be turning. And you can see his leg is already starting to go. So. Break that down again. So, and the more he comes with that single, the more you're going to get that throw. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, no. The classical judo is the one that hurts the most. <laughs> 